If you've been keeping bees for any length of time, then you already know this. It's not just Varroa that takes down colonies, it's the viruses, the stress, and the nutrition gaps all stacking at once. Hey, this is Emily with BeeFit Beekeeping, and this year we expanded our operation to 200 colonies. And when we had our state inspector come out to test all of our hives, our viral loads were practically at zero. But, you know, that doesn't happen by accident. So today I want to show you one of the tools that we've been using that actually made a measurable difference and introduce you to the people behind it. All right, let's see how our poll is doing. So we tasked everybody to help us out with this poll. Ooh, it's doing pretty good. Oh. Of when do you focus on hive nutrition? Hey guys, How are you doing? how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Looks like our poll's doing pretty good. Got a, almost getting close to a tie there. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Put in the comments. Which one do you think is, when do you start focusing on nutrition? Of course, we got the pulley's microphone ever. Yep. Always. <laughs> Gotta have it. A beekeeper's microphone. Be fine, go high school. Can use it for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are a lot of products in beekeeping that seem to promise big things and to be completely honest with you, I don't use anything unless I see results in my own yards. So in this video, we're going to hear directly from Dara Scott, the owner of Hive Alive, and I'm also going to share why we personally use it, how we use it, and what we've seen in our bees. So let's get started by hearing from Dara because understanding why a product works matters just as much as seeing the results. Okay, so we have Dara Scott. He is the creator of Hive Alive. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the company and what you guys offer? Uh, we're, celebra we're celebrating 15 years now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're just, just uh, having parties there before Christmas. Um, started off with just the concentrate and then uh, it's developed into a broader range of products. So the concentrate is the, 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 the original product we based about, which is uh, extracts pulled out of different seaweeds uh, and um, also a thyme and lemongrass in there. And the combination has been scientifically proven to be really beneficial for beekeepers. So it's, um, it's antifungal, it's antibacterial, it's immune stimulatory and somewhat antiviral as well. And we have peer reviewed published papers to show the bees do better with this. Not only that, we have hundreds of testimonials on our website and we recently did a survey with 300 beekeepers in the US who use our, our products through our website, put it out to them and they were seeing 23% losses versus the national average was seeing like up to horrible, like up to 55, 60% losses. So yeah. the product works, we can prove it works and people get great value out and the bees do way better with it and they're more productive with it as well. Yeah. Um, that's the spiel about the company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's about, about the same. Um, and you guys have been innovating too. So you've been coming out with multiple different products. So you have the concentrate, and then you also came out with the fun that I believe was last year. And then you have a new, the super syrup. Yeah, that's just looking around. Oh, that's here, here it is. Well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that would be just already a pre mixed solution for beekeepers to add. They don't have to mix it up themselves. Yeah, so maybe I'll just talk briefly. So yeah. the concentrate is comes in different sizes 100 mil makes up 10 gallons. 500 ml makes up uh, 50 gallons. We have a, a, a two liter, which makes up 200 gallons. And we have a 10 liter, which makes up 1,000 gallons of syrup. Uh, the new product you just mentioned is 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 basically, uh, it, it has Hive Alive already in it. So it's syrup with Hive Alive already added into it, along with vitamins and minerals. The syrup is an inverted syrup. Uh, it's um, the right balance for bees. It's got no high fructose corn syrup in it, uh, no GM in it either. Uh, very high quality syrup, a two to one syrup. Uh, with the Hive Alive already mixed into it. Yep. Um, the, the, probably our biggest seller then is the fondants. Yep. Um, the fondants, we ha they come in different sizes, uh, but there's a thinner, probably good to show you here. This is a thinner 2.2 pound pack. And then there's a thicker, maybe you can grab that, oh, in the yeah. five pound pack. Nice. So the five pounds handier Ooh. if you um, if you plan to you know have it on for a while, you know they're gonna be eating a lot of fondant, but if you're in a, like a warmer, more down south, you might you might want to use the fondant, but yeah. the, the like what you sorry you might want to use the five pound, but it just saves an extra trip going to the, the yeah. hives, you know. Yeah. Uh, and that comes in so the two point two the thinner one comes in a pack of six or a pack of fifteen, and the the heavier the thicker one comes in a pack of six. Okay. 
uh, what am I forgetting? We have, we're, we're totally sold out of the protein. We have a 4% oh, pollen and yep. the 15% pollen proteins. Uh, uh, they're they're a high quality uh, protein anyway, but the, the pollen really brings up the game as well. Uh, the 15% is our biggest seller by a long shot. And we also have Hive Alive added to that. And we have additional seaweed, dried seaweed extracts in there to bring up the amino acid profile as well. So it's, it's well, we believe it's the best in the market. Yeah. What else can I tell you? Uh, we've wonderful hats and t-shirts, but I oh, probably yeah. they can't. Well, I suppose you get them on the website, so yeah, the kids will get those. Oh, of course, the, the Hive 2. Yep. Uh, so the Hive 2, uh, its base of the design was already out there. I just tweaked it because I didn't like what was there. Like Things like a longer bevel, thicker metal, uh, so it's stronger. I, I serrated the edge on it here, so when you're levering it off, it doesn't slip. Yep. I made this short. I find these are too long all the time. You yep. stick it in your pocket and hang, hang it out. And of course, different colors, so it's really easy to find when it falls in the eye of the grass. You want the yellow, and if it's in something dry, you want the green. Yeah. So it just makes it, makes it, oh, I'm not dropping the microphone. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> uh, it makes it a lot easier to uh, to find. I, I, yeah. you know, I, I love the show myself. I'm, oh, me too. Yeah, I think it yeah. works really well. They're very durable too, because we've actually snapped a couple of high tools in half, but we've been using these consistently now. We haven't snapped yeah. them yet. They're, they're, they're tough, and, uh, and they're good stainless as well, so they're, oh, yeah. they'll last. Yeah. yeah. That's the list of products that we... Oh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, we have our fondant tools. I'm going to show you something. These are super handy. We've got a pink one here to show you. So the way it works is you, you get the fondant. This, this side cuts. Make your circle. And then flip it over and pop it in like that. Oh, sorry, make the circle to cut and take off the... To make a gap here for the bees to go up into. And then you pop this in like that. It keeps the bag propped open. A lot of people have no hassle with... Not without using this, and some people have loads of hassle when they don't use this, so they use these instead. So it yeah. really depends on what your needs are. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's it. <pretty> cool. <laughs> yeah, I love this stuff. We've been using it for the last couple of years, and uh, I was telling you before that we had our virus levels tested, and they were pretty much at zero. And when you look at, like, in a comparison to the virus levels across the entire United States, we were, like, way, way, way Wow, that's low. brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. And, and I forgot to mention, of course, it doesn't, the syrup doesn't ferment when you're using it. Yes. Yeah. That's why I first started using it. Yeah. yeah. And as I mentioned, when we did a live chat yesterday as well, yeah. uh, Fred John was telling me how he got a swarm, and he's been feeding the swarm steadily with, with the liquid, with the Hive Alive concentrate into syrup. And, and he reacted because they're, they're all start making up new comb that, 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 they're, that somehow maybe the ingredients are getting into the comb and somehow anti varroa in some way because he's got very low varroa count. He did, actually, he said he had no varroa counts in that swarm colony towards the end of the year when we expected some varroa at that stage. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I don't know. I, I, I'm happy to say it. I can't say it works or in that, but yeah. I, I can quite happy to say what he said. So yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's interesting to see. And, yeah, I've been seeing people, if, if, uh, if beekeepers have seen the same thing as well, uh, you yeah, know, that'd be yeah. interesting. I know in our personal operation, so we've been using it, like I said, for multiple years, always in our syrup. And this year in the fall time, when we normally would start treating, I did all of our testing. Thanks and so I was much. seeing only zeros and ones in a wash. So, I mean, I only treated just because I knew we had to make sure they were low before going to California. Yeah, but yeah. It, it must be working in some sense. And you're obviously doing right. something right as well. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Fair play, but. yeah, yeah, you're on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Because I wouldn't be hive alive on its own, but I certainly think yeah. it would help. Yeah, yeah, I think it definitely boosts. It's not something that you can only use once. It's something you want to use over multiple yeah. seasons because it builds up that health. It builds up their gut too. I would think. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so we know it protects uh, the ingredients. Uh, will protect against nosemas uh, and stuff like that, and different yeah. pathogens like that. So, you're right. It's not. It's not a quick fix. It's not a quick boost. It, it's about keeping your colonies healthy long term, so yeah. that when the stresses come along, they can handle the stresses because yep. they're going to come along. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Just like us. If we're taking our vitamins, we're healthy, we can pretty exactly. much try it off anything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. I had a question. Yeah. When do bottles that size hit the market? <laughs> Anytime now. Anytime now. You can be the first to order. <laughs> yep. Just put a running tap on the bottom. Perfect. <laughs> you guys get so big, you're going to need one. <laughs> we might. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. I just want to say thank you so much, Dara, for taking the time to chat with us, letting us hang out at your booth, and introducing us to the Hive Alive yeah, team. If there's one thing I hope that you take away from this video, especially if you're still on the fence, it is this. If you're ever feeding thinner, watered-down syrup, this stuff keeps it from fermenting. That means your bees can actually take it all down before it spoils, even once it's in the hive. 
that alone will save you a ton of money. And honestly, that is why we started even using it in the first place. And now on top of that, we're seeing colonies that are stronger, healthier, and just flat out thriving. But more than anything, I want to remind you of this. Every small decision that you make as a beekeeper adds up. The feed you choose, the timing, the tools that you use, it all matters. And when you give your bees a real shot at being healthy and resilient, they show up for you in return. So if you're putting in the work and you care about your bees, you're already doing something right. Sometimes it's just about finding the right support to help them and yourself. So keep moving forward. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't quit and be fit. Diplodew daughter, look at this freaking hive. This hive is beastie.